What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody on the Bad Boy membership. Everybody on the Bad Boy membership can see the Game Kings documentary right now. It's out on the Bad Boy membership right now. Shout out to everybody that's been reviewing the Game Kings documentary. Um, really appreciate you know everybody supporting it and saying good things about it and uh you know respecting the work and the value to the to the community and what it means to the community and the fact that it's a one of a kind documentary <clears throat> i mean just on some real shit like there's nothing else like it right out right now you know what i'm saying so we really appreciate cats for really respecting that and recognizing that fact and we're glad to be the ones to bring that to y'all. You understand? That shit is uh it was it was a lot of hard work, but it's a privilege. You feel me? It's a privilege. So we re- we really appreciate you guys. All right. So today what I wanted to talk about real quick and um <clears throat> you know, forgive me, I kinda lost my voice a little bit. Stand up late with these niggas on the live stream and shit, but um you know, bear with me a little bit. You feel me? Uh So what I wanted to talk about today was the fact that you, the game, the game don't stop. You always have to have game. You always have to have game. And, you know, I'm going to just, I'm going to just tell you a little bit, just tell you a little story about what happened to me and how you always, you know, your game, the game don't stop, bro. You always got to have game. You always got to have game, no matter how, no matter what situation you're in, you always have to have game, right? And so I'm gonna tell you a little stories, right? So me and Lucario, you know, the last time he came out, we did the little we did the to finish up the editing for the documentary and we went out, you know, we talked to a couple broads. Um me and him approached a set of two. So it was me and him and a set of two. So he wingman one chick, he occupied one chick and I occupied the other. And I got the chick's number, you know what I'm saying? Me and her, we, we've been dealing or whatever. So long story short, we was on the second date, <clears throat> got her back to the crib. And so she was, you know, we was chilling in the, chilling in like the, uh, the living room area. And I was looking at her and I was like, yo, I got to get you out of that dress. So, and mind you, this is the second date. So I'm thinking it should be easy by now. You know what I'm saying? It should, it, everything should be straight. Like, I should just be able to say, bitch, get naked. And you know what I'm saying? That's it. But I so I said to her, I said, um, I need to get you out of that dress. And she says to me, you know, what do you, what do you mean by that? And I'm looking at her like, <laughs> I'm looking at her like, bitch, what, like, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? This is the second fucking date. I'm telling you, I need to get you out that dress. What the fuck you think I mean? You feel me? But she's like, oh, what do you mean by that? So I say to her, I'm like, I'm like, let's just say that, you know, let's let's just say that I'm looking for consent. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm in my mind, I already fucked the bitch. You feel me? In my mind, I already got the pussy. Shout out to Steve the Dean. In my mind, I already got the pussy. You feel me? So, you know, I'm I'm playing her little game as far as the dialogue. She's like, oh, what do you mean by that? I'm like, well, let's just say I'm let's just say, you know, I'm I'm requesting consent. But I noticed, you know, she she I noticed that she even chose to even give me that little bit of uh resistance. You know what I'm saying? So I said, all right, cool. You know, I said, all right, cool. But like I said, we chilling in the living room. So I changed the subject completely. And I said, I said, stand up. Stand up. She stood up. And I said, I want you to, I want you to walk across the floor. Because you're looking real good right now. I want you to walk across the floor. And show me your sexiest walk. And then she started, you know, she started walking and and I said, Alright, go over there and then come back. And then go back again and come back. And then and then I and then I told her to and then I come and told her to come come stand in front of me. 
And then I, then I told her to turn around. And then I told her to walk again. And I was like, yo, you look so fucking sexy. And then um, then I told her to come, come close to me again. And then I said, pull your dress up a little bit. I want to see that ass. And she pulled the dress up. You're right? And then I was like, damn. I was like, yo, your, your ass is so sexy. And, and I was like, I want you. I want you. And she was like, yeah. And then that's when... That's when I stood up and I started to, you know, I started, you started, you know, I started making out with her. I started kissing her and shit. And because the dress was already up, that's when I started to like, you know, feel up on the goodies and started to check the oil. And I realized the pussy was getting wet and all of that shit. You feel me? Now, you know, that's just a little bit of story time. But and then, you know, everything, everything else after that happened the way it was supposed to happen, because from there, I'm, you know, I'm tonguing her down. I'm, I'm biting on her neck from the back. I'm checking the oil. You know what I'm saying? I'm squeezing on the titties. I'm doing. I'm doing all that shit. I'm. I'm pulling the dress further up. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm getting into it. And then from there we, there from there we got to the bedroom. And then from there, you know, everything everything happened like it was supposed to. You understand? So I smashed or. Or we smashed or whatever you want to call it. You feel me? Everything happened like it was supposed to. But what I'm trying to say is that the chick the chick decided to give me that little bit of resistance at the last minute. Like, you know, I'm trying to get you out that dress. And she's like, oh, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, bitch, like, you, like the point I'm trying to make is that <clears throat> you got to have game, brothers. You got to have game. Like... So what I realized was that I re- I thought about I thought I didn't even really think about it like that, but I I just felt the vibe and I was like, yo, she looked good because I I told her how to dress for the date and she wore this really tight ass dress, this really nice dress. So I, that's when I told her to stand up and I told her to walk back and forth. But here's what it is: if you break it down, you realize a lot of us we we hate on female nature, right? But we don't take the time to realize how female nature can work for us. What I did in the situation was I allowed female nature to work for me because I know based on female nature that bitches love attention. You understand? Bitches love attention. Bitches love to know that you that you think they sexy. You understand? And she wore that. I know she wore that dress for me. And I also... Uh, that was another like sort of missing piece um, to the story. But after I said, you know, I'm requesting consent. I also told her, I was like, I was like, look at how you look in that dress. I was like, I know you wore that shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's female nature that chicks love attention, which is why I told her to stand up and told her to walk back and forth. Cause that's attention. But I also know that chicks love to do shit for the men that they're attracted to. And I already know that she's attracted to me because we're on a second date and you're at my house. So I know that you're attracted to me. You understand what I'm saying? I know this, but you're just giving me that little bit of resistance, sort of like a little, a last minute shit test just to make sure that, that, you know, giving me the pussy is the right choice. You understand what I'm saying? She's, she's asking herself, is this nigga really real? He's been on point so far, but I'm about to give him the pussy. I got to make sure that he's really real on point, on point. And I said, and instead of like following up with the argument of, you know, oh, you know, what's the problem? Why you don't want to get, why don't, why you don't want to let me get you out that dress? I didn't even worry about that. I told her to stand up. I told her to walk across the floor. I told her to give me her sexiest walk. I told her to pull her dress up so I could see her sexy ass. You understand? And from that point, I did my thing. You understand? I started to, you know, to kiss her. I started to to start kissing on her neck. I started to check the oil. And when I say, for, for cats that don't know, check the oil mean I started to, I, I, put the, I put the finger, I put the finger in the pussy. I put the finger in the vagina to make sure that the pussy was getting wet for me, for the situation, you understand, for the vibe, you feel me? So I did all these things 
and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm sharing this story with you to un- so you can understand that you got to have game. At, <clears throat> excuse me. You got to have game at all times. And you have to use use female nature in your favor. You can't just sit there and be mad at female nature. You can't just sit there and be upset with hypergamy and sit there and be upset with the fact that chicks are attention whores. No, you got to learn how to make that shit work for you. So what I did was I basically made her give me a fashion show. I basically made her understand that she's the sexiest thing in the room and that I desire to have her. You understand? So when I when I put my arms on, when I put my hands on her and I fucking started to kiss her, she knew that I was serious she understood that she understood she like i said this is the second date and she's already, and she's at my house so i already 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 got the already got the message that she's attracted i just had to solidify the you know solidify the vibe you understand so instead of getting into a some type of argument or some type of back and forth i made her give me a fashion show i made her i made like i i celebrated her need for attention but in my favor because after she when she she's walking across the floor she's she's walking across the floor and she's she's feeling the attention that I'm giving her but she's she's all of it is for me at the end of at the end of the day you understand what I'm saying she loves the fact that I'm instructing her and telling her what to do and the fact that I'm I'm giving her my attention I'm giving her my lustful energy based on the way that she looks and the way that she chose to dress specifically for me because I told her how to dress for the date. You understand? Again, guys, forgive forgive my voice. I I I sound fucking terrible. But I but you have to you have to get with what I'm saying, man. The game don't stop. Even when you got the bitch right right there, you know you about to fuck. You know cuz I already knew I was about to I was about to smash. But she's still giving me that little bit of resistance like do you really have the game that i need you to have to get this, t- for me to be totally comfortable for you to get this pussy you see what i'm saying and so i so I, like i said i didn't i didn't even bother to indulge into a argument or any type of back and forth i just said fuck that and turned the shit into a fashion show you understand i told her to stand up Told her to walk back and forth. I told her to lift her dress up so I could see her sexy ass. And then when and then I told her to stand in front of me. And I told her to turn around so I could see everything. You understand? And with her ass in front of me and her dress up, her, her tight ass dress up where I could see the ass and the thong and all that shit. I'm smacking on her ass and I'm letting her know how sexy she is. You understand? And then from there, I'm fucking kissing on her. And I'm I'm turning her around and biting on her neck from the back and licking on her and shit and 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 I'm checking the oil and all that. And then from there, we from the living room to the bedroom. You see what I'm saying? And then from there I'm telling her, yo, take your dress off. You understand? I'm I'm instructing her. You understand? This is the this is the level this is the energy. This is the level of game. That work that 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 you want to be at. This is why we tell you you got to make this shit a lifestyle. This is why we talk about joining the bad boy membership, making this shit a lifestyle. Because <clears throat> depending on how you run your game, even at the very last minute before she give you the pussy, she's showing you that resistance. And if you're not cool, if you're not cool, if you don't understand what. What you supposed to do if you don't understand game, if you don't understand yourself, if you don't understand your own character, your own identity, you might you might take a L. You might fucking take a L. Cause these chicks know they know what you want. They know exactly what you want. But they're not gonna make it that easy because they wanna know that you are you are worthy. You understand what I'm saying? In their mind, you're already worthy. Trust me, you're already worthy. You're already a king. You are already a man. You are already worthy of their submission. But in their, they have to justify it in their mind. You understand? And when you understand game, you understand that a woman loves attention. You understand that a woman loves to be instructed. And that's what I understood. I understood that a woman loves attention. And I understood a woman loves to be instructed. 
So I turned the shit into a fashion show. And then from the from the fashion show, that led to my fucking bedroom. You understand what I'm saying? And that led to me smashing. You feel me? So I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to, you know, give y'all a little story and let y'all know that, yo, the game don't stop. The game don't fucking stop, bruh. The game don't stop. And you got to be, you got to, you got to be, you got to understand your own character. and You got to be ready at all times to spit that fucking game to get exactly what you want. You understand? And, you know, I'm not, I'm not hating on my, my MGTOW niggas, but it's one thing to be able to, uh, analyze female nature, but it's a whole nother thing to analyze female nature and then understand how it can work to your favor and make it work to your favor. You understand? All right. So, um, it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. You know what I'm saying? Go get your t-shirts. Check out the link in the description for Teespring. Go get your t-shirts. Get the Game Kings, uh, the Game Kings documentary movie poster. You feel me? That shit is a fucking collector's item. Because, it's, again, there's nothing else out here like it, brothers. There's nothing else out here like it. You understand? Um, so, you know, again, shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody that's on a Bad Boy membership. Shout out to everybody that's on a Patreon. Shout out to everybody that calls in and donates to the live streams. We really appreciate you guys. You guys keep the shit going so we can give you all this game. You feel me? So um, it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And the truth is inside you. Peace.